Okay. Hey guys, we're back. It's Love Buds. Thank you for um, coming to episode Hollow Hollow Vlog episode five. I'm sorry. Came to talk straight. Um, I have a list of um, great Halloween movies that I like to watch, and maybe you might remember some of them. Um, the first movie would be uh, He Knows You're Alone. Um, I believe that was early 80s, or might be never, might might have been night in the late 70s, early 80s. It was about the um, the guy that got dumped um, on his wedding day or something, and he winded up finding the girl and basically stabbed her to death. Um, so he was like a serial bride killer or something, and he and he kept um, he would he would just stalk people on their wedding. Uh, he would he would find out like I guess he would go like wedding registries and stuff, and he'd find out like who's getting married or or something like that, or former girlfriends. I I think I'm having the storyline correct, but um, basically he would stalk them out, find where they are, and then murder them. Um, and yes, it is the movie with the girl's head in the fish tank. Um, that's the only thing that comes to my mind when is the, when he put the girl's head in the fish tank. Okay, <laughs> um, we'll just leave it that way. And uh, yeah, that is a creepy one. So that's called He Knows You're Alone. Um, um, the second one would be Prom Night. The Prom Night movie, yeah, everybody remembers that. Great movie. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, <laughs> Started in that night. I had thought always thought prom night was kind of to be somehow mixed in with Michael Myers, but I might be wrong. You know the Halloween movie, but I might be wrong on that. Um, so that's prom night. Number three movie would be um, Halloween. All Halloween movies. Halloween Michael Myers. Hello, I'm Mike Mandela, and Venture of my um, just like you, any of those. Um, I, I know I'm talking about uh, adult movies right now, um, and then I'll get into some like really good kids movies. Uh, number four would be uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Great movie. Um, that's the be best, these are all like the best movies right here. Um, also, um, When a Stranger Calls. Now, I'm talking about the original When Stranger Calls because they did do a remake. They also did a remake of Halloween, which I believe was Rob Zombie was involved in that. Um, eh, it was okay. I, well, I... What it is, is they were telling the beginning story of Michael Myers and how he was doing all kinds of things. Uh, so, alright, um, yeah, When a Stranger Calls, that's the movie where the girl's the babysitter and this guy murders the kid, or, yeah, he murders the kids upstairs and... He tries to murder her and he keeps calling, like crank calling her. And she's saying, Who's this? Who's this? Okay. Um, I really apologize. I don't remember who the actress was in that one. No, that's also an 80s. I believe that's an 80s, early 80s or mid 80s film. But I'm talking about the original, not this stupid remake. Which I thought was really stupid. I did not enjoy it. It was totally nothing. You know, I don't know. It was like I didn't like it. But um, that this is the original one. Number six would be Carrie. We gotta love Sissy Space and Carrie. Um, excellent movie. I even thought the remake, uh, Carrie, of Carrie and Carrie the Rage, those were good. 
Um, but I'm talking about the original one with Sissy Spacey's in it. Um, well, some of the Roman Polanski movies. Um, those are more like British, um, movies. Okay. So, um, yeah, the other movie would be, um, Howling. Howling is an excellent movie. I recommend that, Howling. Um, all of the Howlings. Um, and also, Freddy, uh, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm sorry, I was going to say Freddy Krueger. <laughs> excellent Nightmare on Elm Street. It's going to be held at St. Anthony's Church in the West Village. Over 1,500 pies. I mean, I'm kind of going into classic films and 80s films, or 70s and 80s uh, films. Um, Shattered Silence. I believe that's the name with Michael Douglas, where the little kid was... Um, his brother Michael was murdered, and they were having, um, some guy was, like, um, crank calling their house and saying, oh, where are you? I can't find you. And that was really a creepo movie. Um. So that's called Shattered Silence. I, I recommend that. Um, something else I'm going to recommend, but if you are a person that gets sick watching gory, really like disgustingly gory stuff, is Faces of Death. Um, you really have to be prepared for Faces of Death because it's like a documentary type of thing but they're showing you real disgusting stuff in that one so it's faces of death I'm talking for adults not children um, I mean if you really want gore you would go with faces of death um, I happen to really like horror films they could be classic horror films, 60s, 70s horror flicks. Oh, I love, I love all kind of horror flicks. Um, um I think, I th well, I'm sorry. I think there's when a stranger calls and when a stranger calls back. I think that was actually part like a second one that they made. Um, Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs of original Medicare doesn't. I believe so that's there's two of them. Um, Empire plans help protect you from high medical costs. I have to look that up, but I believe Members that's what it is. When a, there's strange when a stranger calls, and then there's when a stranger calls back. Okay, so there's two movies with the same girl in it. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. With, um... What do they call him? Rubber face? Something like that. Um, yes. Good old Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That would be number... Number 11 on our list. And let's see what else. Like, uh, well, when I say Friday, oh, I'm sorry. When I say, um, when I'm talking about Friday the 13th, I mean every single one of the Friday the 13th. Um, Freddy versus Jason. That, yeah, I'm talking about Freddy versus Jason, too. So that's, you know, number 12 will be Freddy versus Jason. Even, and, well, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but. Okay, and, um. 
<clears throat> oh, anything with um, Bella Lugosi. Bella, Lug Bella is Dracula, Bella Lugosi. Dracula movies. Um, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I'm talking classic Frankenstein here. Um, <laughs> that'd be funny if they call it Trump, Trump versus Hillary. Oh my God, that'd be weird. Uh, you know that. Clean if if they called it that instead of Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> Imagine that. <clears throat> just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. No haters on here. Just joking. That's a joke. Um, it's a joke. Okay. Um. Okay, next, uh, let's see. Favorite Halloween movies. I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, we need a number. Uh, okay, we're on number 13. Oh, no, we're on number 14. So, so, so far we have 13 favorite Halloween adult movies. Um, anything that this is like PG-13 or rated R, well... Rated R. Let's just say that. Scream. Scream is a good one. If you like funny junk. All the Scream movies. And and for comedies, scary movie. And fifteen comedy Halloween would be scary movie. Hopefully, democracy will do its work, and a lot of those people will tune in tonight. Because we know we have to make fun of Scream. According to um, Reed, digital editor from New York Magazine, VHS, there's a, there's a, a, there's a, a video, a, 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 movie, video, a movie called VHS. Um, they don't want to upstage um, the top of ticket candidates, and they don't want to do, they don't want to take a big risk. Basically, um, another there's, one there's zingers, is, oh boy, um, zingers, when it comes to wow, VP why do I feel like I'm forgetting Someone people? Well, like for VP candidate, I want to make sure all the adult ones are done with. Alright, so then, um, ooh, I just don't want to go away and see what we have. Let's recap. He knows you're alone. Prom night, Halloween, Friday the 13th, When a Stranger Calls, Carrie, Howling, Nightmare on Elm Street, Shattered Silence. Okay, um, I just want to really make sure I'm not leaving any movie out here. Um, I may have to do another episode of this. Uh, okay, so let's get in kids' movies. Okay, so we have Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Who remembers that? Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Um, Casper. Ghostbusters. The old, the original Ghostbusters, not the girly Ghostbusters, or whatever they're called. Well, no, actually, I'm sorry. Let me let me correct myself, because there is girly Ghost Hunters. That is a paranormal investigating team that are female. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about, um... The new Ghostbusters that we came out with the girls in it, and I... Nah, I don't think they should have done that. But anyway, uh, I'm talking about... Bill Murray, okay. And them guys. Alright. So I have a uh, Great Pumpkin, Casper, Ghostbusters, Goosebumps. That's kind of a TV show, but I believe they made a movie. Goosebumps. Uh, Oh, Halloween Town. Let's not forget that. Halloween Town. And there is a Halloween store in California named Halloween Town. So if you're in California, you might want to check that out. It's a, it's a 12 all year round Halloween place. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, it. I'm sorry, for adult movies, we'll go back to that. It is a good one. It with the clown, okay? 
and Richard Thomas, okay, um, the guy, remember Richard Thomas, Waltons, okay, and John Ritter is in that one, and, um, I only remember John Ritter and that guy, um, I forget who the heck else is in it, but, um, let's not forget, oh, all Stephen King movies, Shining, I don't know how I was leaving that out, Shining, since best ever, and best uh, movie ever, ever, ever. Shining, um, actually, that should actually be number one, but that's okay. Shining should be number be number one, and somebody is cooking something that is uh, turning my stomach. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Sorry. Uh, I have my window open. I think somebody's soup or something. It's disgusting. Um, anyway. Alright, so we're at 15 minutes, guys. Now, I know there's some other children's um, Halloween movies. Um, I might do another video on the children's Halloween movies. But, these are my top movies for Halloween. Uh, because you want to get your shit scared out of you. And then our next video is going to be on on uh, paranormal shows, paranormal investigators, and different paranormal teams. So um, stay tuned for that. And this was Halloween Vlog episode uh, five with um, favorite Halloween movies or, or best horror movies. We'll put it that way. Okay, so please like, subscribe if you like any of these movies, or if you know any movies that maybe I didn't mention that you like, please leave it in the comment below. I would love to hear what your guys' favorite movies are for Halloween. Um, these are my absolute favorites. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to leave, you know, let me know what your favorite movies are. Uh, or there's a movie I didn't mention, um, and you want to put it there, and I haven't seen it before, I'll look it up, so. Alright, please like, subscribe, thank you for watching. Oh, what I want to do.